mature is best left <laughs> with they mama them what's happening what appreciate y'all for joining me on willow williams please remember go around to the willow williams show.com y'all check out a few things if you like to see what we call the event video please go around to the patreon that's what's up come on come on come on come on <laughs> hey sugar look at that baby instagram photo right there that baby got the poop mouth shout out baby i found him on her instagram photo they say the good mama the good mama done locked two two little ugly ass babies inside of a u-haul while her and her bestie eats at the waffle house shut the front door i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it and then dude got a clip for y'all so i guess that for you let me put it on up here for y'all hey daddy come on sister Police say she left her children inside of a U-Haul truck while she and a friend dined at a Waffle House in Laurel. Police say it happened on the evening of October the 13th. Witnesses called police after noticing the children locked inside the vehicle. Once authorities arrived, they found a 12-year-old, 16-year-old in the back of the moving truck. One of their mother and her friend were charged felony child abuse. They were booked into jail and held on a $10,000 bond. The mother has been released on bond. She was released on Monday, but the friend who is a friend from Gulfport remains in custody. Both children are in the care of child protective custody. But is facing child. I know. I know. I know what you people want to say. Y'all, 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 y'all want to look down on this good parenting out of Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? M I S S I S S I P P. I still know how to spell like that. Or M I cricket letter. M I cricket. Don't even worry about. It. I'm educated. Right here, and he got down the street. Well, what, 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 what else was she was supposed to do if only her and her friend girl was the only ones who was gonna eat? Hell, the children probably had cereal. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to. I don't. Hell, twelve and a sixteen year old. I told y'all if you ain't done talk to these children by two months. The damn they ain't gonna make it out here in the goddamn street. But damn it, she probably only had enough for her and her friend girl to eat. A lot of y'all do that with churn and shit. Y'all feed them some at the house and then y'all go out and get takeout. You know what I'm saying? She probably just didn't want to even deal with the churn. The churn probably aggravate. We don't never want to say that about the churn because you're the parent. You're supposed to control the situation, but the churn can be aggravating, asking you for shit like food i don't it, uh, like shit becomes a problem you know what i'm saying um hell i just want free my dog oh she bonded out my bad so we ain't got to free her because she already free drop damn it drop all charge and give her damn churn back because let me explain something to you at 12 now i do understand one is autistic all right so we're gonna scratch that one out but one sixteen. How you gonna lock us in the back of a um a U-Haul van? You that that really ain't gonna um, none autistic child, none aut none autistic big word. I ain't got down the street. Child was the sixteen year. No, the none autistic. Don't y'all got phones and shit? Everybody on this planet got phones and stuff, and we know about being locked in things that we ain't supposed to be locked in. But somebody had not heard them and reported them and all that fly shit. Snitching head people. Say their mother and her friend were both charged with felony child abuse. They were booked into the jail on ten thousand dollar bond. This is this is another one of them where I'm telling y'all how much we really care about the kids because she got a ten thousand dollar bond. Ten thousand dollars I ain't got in the street. She ain't even got to have a good monkey to get bonded out. She just need to have that goddamn monkey. They're trying to taste something. But listen, yeah, yeah, child protect services shit. They got the church for now. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to be back with their mama because that's all that they know. And mothers to us is like God. I hear and he got there and scream. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got <laughs> put your beautiful baby back up on the screen. She's like, bitch, and what? But baby, what did you order? She probably ordered, um... What is that shit that I like? Um, the hash brown bowl. She probably had the hash brown bowl because she got like that hash brown bowl look. She, she got that little bob. <laughs> I like that little bob, baby. And it look, well, this is like bad, bad picture. But um, looked like it had a little wet to it. Look looked silky though, sugar. Listen, 
don't need much worry about it. What can we do the next time to prevent this? Because we got to talk about preventative maintenance and stuff as a parent. Um, acetaminophen, melatonin, if you're going to leave them in the back because they need to be night-night. You know what I'm saying? Because they were probably back there making noise and shit. Hell, you probably didn't get proper instructions when you part that bitch and y'all finna go in there and eat. You supposed to went back there and talk to them as a parent. Y'all shut the fuck up. That's a jad down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, us as good parents, that's how we talk to the children. You know, and, and that's I think that that's like the only way you messed up. So your children don't fuck around and got you a felony, baby. Because it ain't your fault that you and your homie was hungry. Like you ain't want to leave them home by themselves, which they old enough to stay home by themselves, but maybe the maybe the autistic um, child needed more attention and I guess probably needed parental attention or something. Or maybe they were just sliding through, you know what I'm saying, for the grab some, eat real, real quick and jump back in. But hell, they probably got hot because in the back of the truck it don't have like no air condition or nothing like that. But damn it, that mean these kids soft. Like y'all, What's 120 degrees? You know what I'm saying? When ain't no wind blowing. Like, y'all ain't used to being outside or being inside of a box. Y'all probably beating on the head. It's hot. It's hot. All, all that suck shit. But anyway, listen. That baby gonna get her baby's back. Don't. Come on now. Don't even worry about it because she got a monkey. And that's just the way we do out here on Earth. The children's best left with their mama them. So we need to put the children back with their mama and tell her, listen, don't do it like you did it. Ever again, baby, but shit. Hey, it's hey, it's somebody out there walk out that him food good for what I hear. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, baby. Got the poop mouth fat. I, that shit is so cute. That's what's up. Listen, appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.